All right, Shalom, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rechakodash. Double honors to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Peace and blessing and many salutations to you, elect, across the four winds of this earth, pushing this word in sincerity and in truth. Shalom to you, elect believers that are out there that do believe in this word of our testimony, which is the spirit of prophecy, and those believers consisting of you men, you a few women. All right, and you children that believe in this word, that believe in this testimony. I'm the brother Sha'ar from the Great Millstone Dallas Camp, coming at you all with another lesson through the Spirit. Lord's willing, this lesson here is edifying, and this is going to be in transit as I'm stuck in a little bit of traffic on my way to my destination. But um, just was looking, just was uh, looking through our chat, you know, conversation that um, brothers have, a holy conversation, and um, one of the brothers posted this um, link, this article here within a. Uh, Within our chat that we have here And um It's the brothers in San Antonio Alright, the brothers Pazak and the brothers Yawasap Alright, well the brother had posted this And this is on the San Antonio paper And best believe this is the whole state of Texas Alright, which ultimately It's gonna it's gonna boil down to the whole country Okay, but I just wanted to put this on wax And talk about this here Very briefly As I was on the road Okay so you see here the San Antonio Express News that you see in the background. It says election bringing out Texas Guard. OK, now when was the last time this had happened during the elections? All right. This is another sign to show to show us the times that we're living in. And this isn't an accident. All right. This didn't just so happen to be by coincidence around the same time where where different um, countries are, are already starting a second lockdown. All right. COVID-19, they're saying the second wave is taking place people like joe biden is talking about it's going to be a, a very dark winter all right what we're seeing right now what we've constantly been seeing what the most high has been constantly showing us is prophecy is being fulfilled okay prophecy is being fulfilled and we are indeed at the very end it doesn't matter about what anybody can say what any christian can say all right speaking of them guys they don't even want the lord to come back okay they'll talk about how much they love jesus but when you talk about the times that they're in, they're the main ones that say when all these things have always been happening, which really goes to show you that they're not hastening the day. All right. Only the true believers that are worshiping in sincerity and in truth. And those true believers are worshiping Yahweh and Yahweh Shai. Those are the two true names of the most high and his son, his only begotten son. We're the only ones that are truly hastening the day. All right. That really want the Lord to come back and put an end to all this wickedness. And these are the signs that that our fathers, the prophets, starting with our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shai, had declared and made known for us here within these days. That's why it's very important to get our houses in order. And when I say our houses in order, talking about a mind frame, all right, putting off the carnality and putting on the incorruptible, putting off the finite and putting on the infinite or infinite, all right? And this is the time that we're in. This is the time that we are indeed in, okay? So again, the paper says election bringing out Texas National Guard Okay The National Guard Has to come out Because it's going to be so bad They're already Pretty much what they're saying Is they're already Premeditating Racial Racial um, Conflict Going on Alright And we had talked about it Friday afternoon at camp Going into Whatever side wins Whatever side wins It's going to be uproars Regardless Okay If Trump wins If Trump wins It's going to be uproars By people like NFAC Black Lives Matter Antifa and these are all organizations that are that, that are set up by people that are within at the same time. So again, it don't matter. All right, at the end of the day, both of these parties goes into the two horns of the draconian system or the dragon. Okay, and even if Joe Biden wins, the same thing's gonna happen with these with these um with these Edomite um with these Edomites merc these Edomite mercenaries. All right, at the end of the day, it's gonna be social conflict. It's gonna be racial and racial tension. All right. And ultimately, these things are just building up until what our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shai, said. And it reminds me, these are only the beginning of sorrows. So it's going to get a lot worse. Okay? And that's enough, you know, for me, me talking. Now I'm going to bring out some scriptures. Okay? Hold on one sec. I'm driving, so bear with me, Bubba Kishaw. Hold on. Yeah, my thumb's fat as hell. Okay. So this is 2nd Ezra chapter 9. 
And this is a very popular scripture, but the more we read these scriptures that we've always read, they're holding a lot more weight now. Not that it that not that they didn't hold weight before, but now we're in a time where, where prophecy is falling off the pages. Okay? So this is the book of uh Second Ezra, the ninth chapter, and I'm gonna start at the top. And it reads, He answered me then and said, Measure thou the time diligently in itself. And when thou seest part of the signs past, which I have told thee, then thou shalt understand that it is the very same time wherein the highest will begin to visit the world which he made. And we are definitely in those times right now. I mean, the brother, um, I forgot his name, uh, but the, the brother from Minnevelar had reposted his page. But man, um, he had posted a, a, a video going into how this Edomite, this, oh, this there's an Edomite lady that's always takes pictures of the skies, all right, and she, um, she always takes pictures of the, of the chariots, like, she'll take normal pictures, but there's something that she does where she changes the lighting in the background or does something, and she sees thousands on top of thousands of UFOs of, of rainbow-colored chariots and different types of chariots, little chariots coming out of big chariots and such, and she finds those. All right, and some of y'all know what I'm talking about, okay? And the brother Shield of Faith, I believe it's Shield of Faith. All right, I believe there's a few Shield of Faith pages actually. Um, the one, one of them is the brother Zion in California, but there's another one. All right, and he had posted, he had pretty much posted, all right, one of her videos because there's somebody from over there, I believe it's in Sweden or Switzerland. He had took a picture and sent it to her, and she had talked about it, and it was this giant UFO with a a, a giant angel on top of it. And Lord's will, I'm going to do a lesson on that later because I, I want to do that today. All right. It was on my spirit to do it yesterday, but I, I went on a few other things or another topic yesterday. And I'm going on to this right now. So Lord's will and later on, I touch upon that, too, because I want to. You know, it's heavily on my spirit. But pretty much there was a chariot with a giant angel standing on top of the chariot. And you could see it, it like he had a giant white fro with the giant beard, just like the pictures that brothers post on you know in their backgrounds what the angels look like it looked just like that all right and and one of the brothers one of the believers out here in um in um richardson uh richardson of uh, texas um he pretty much posted a video of a picture that he took of a of a chariot changing colors in the sky and he zoomed in and it looked like a power sitting on the throne okay so we can very well indeed see without a doubt that we are in those times Okay, that's why it was told Ezra, and as this was told Ezra, this is only talking to the prophets, all right? Well, really the elect, starting with the prophets, okay, because we're those watchmen. But it said, to measure thou the time diligently in itself, and these are ways that we can measure it, looking at the signs in the heaven, looking at the signs in the earth. Obviously, we don't know the hour nor the day. Even our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shai, doesn't know the hour nor the day, okay? But that doesn't change the fact that we've been given the proper tools all right, to be able to measure these times so we can get our house more in order and be more upright and intensify our fear in the Lord. That way, when he comes back, we're going to be more prepared. All right. That way he doesn't catch us as a thief. And when he does come, he's going to find his servants doing, as it says in the book of Luke, the 12th chapter, the 37th verse. OK, so second Ezra nine and two, it says, then thou shalt understand that it is the very same time. Now this is the same time. It doesn't say it doesn't say years or it doesn't say it, it doesn't say decades. No. We have to understand when our fathers had spoke to the prophets, obviously they had spoke to them so they could very well understand, but they were speaking to them, talking to us in this day. Okay? They was talking to us here in this day. And it makes me think about the video game Assassin's Creed. All right, and pretty much it's pretty much based on a, an organization, all right, trying to start a new world order, and they're trying to find ancient artifacts. And the only way that they can find these, who's it's a lot of judgment out here, man. Stupid, stupid assholes crashing and can't drive within this weather, man. But it is what it is, man. All praise to the Lord. Okay, these people don't pay attention and they're getting caught slipping. Okay, but anyway, going back to what I was talking about, all right, there's these ancient artifacts that were hid in history. And the only way that they can find them is pretty much they have to find particular they have to find um, particular people whose ancestors go back to this organization that was assassins. And those assassins pretty much had um, fought against those um, those Templars. The society's name was Abstergo. 
and they had to fight against those Templars and they had found those artifacts and they had hit them. All right, so later on in history, you got their, you have their, uh, their, their children, their children's children, and they have this device that's called the Animus where they can actually plug up to them and they can connect them to their ancestors and they can see what their ancestors had done and trace them. And what I'm getting at in this game that when you go back in time playing with the ancestors, they're talking to particular angels and the angel is talking to the ancestor, but the angel is speaking to the person who's in that machine in the future. And the ancestor was like, what are you talking about? Who is this person that you're talking about? But lo and behold, the angel was talking to that person, that person that was in control of that machine. Hopefully it makes sense how I'm explaining it for those of y'all that played the game, you know what I'm talking about. But ultimately what I'm getting at is that's how it is when we read those scriptures. All right, when the angels and different, when the different angels spoken to our ancestors and such, all right, obviously they were speaking to our ancestors, but they were speaking to our ancestors all right, really speaking to us in this day that we're in. So when you read this here in 2nd Ezra, the ninth chapter, when you read this here, all right, the angel's talking to us here in this day. And we very well understand, all right, we understand very well indeed, those of us that are in the know, that we are definitely in this time that prophecy said was going to transpire here within the latter days, and we can see it. That's why you read it in Matthew, the 13th chapter, going into many 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 kings and, and princes and and such desire to see the things that y'all see all right they had said that knowing that it was talking about us because the things that we're seeing right now the prophets only seen in visions okay when john the revelator was in the island of patmos in prison and he saw the and he saw that 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 beast all right the seven-headed beast with the ten horns he actually seen a beast and a woman sitting on top but we're living in a day and we're living why this beast is in power and we know this beast is nothing but just different rulers all right different rulers that are with that are ooh, different kingdoms all right within the nato and the eu all right so this vision is speaking here as prophecy said it's set for an appointed time but at the end it shall speak and not lie and this is in this is the time that we're in right now where the the, the, the end of it is speaking and it's not lying all right it's being fully made manifest as the scriptures and prophecies say it was going to transpire okay so this is back in second ezra 9 and 2 it says then shall thou understand that it is the very same time wherein the highest will begin to visit the world which he made all right that's why you see all the chariot sightings that's why you see all the earthquakes that's why california's on fire okay that's why those jakes over there in not no, <laughs> in nigeria are getting their, their their heads blown off man you got brains all over the side of the streets looking looking like instant ramen okay sitting on the side of the streets and this is prophecy coming to pass okay reason why all this chaos and these things are happening is because the lord is about to come back man and the elect are about to get upgraded okay the elect are going to get delivered out of this place but there's still a few more things that have to happen but we're very well indeed seeing these things transpiring here on the planet earth within these latter days okay second Ezra 9 and 3 therefore when there shall be seen earthquakes and uproars of the people in the world now i looked this word uproars up about two days ago oh it was it might have been a little more about four days i think it was friday it was about thursday or friday so salak it was almost a week ago but when you go into that word uproars when you look that word up it goes into literally um protests and riots and that's why I wanted to pull this precept up because the reason why the National Guard is getting ready to get sent here in Texas during the elections is because they're expecting, all right, riots and uproars to happen. They're expecting riots and protests to take place. And it is going to be, like I said before, it's going to be a lot more tension happening. Regardless who gets elected, whoever gets elected, it doesn't matter. Whatever side is going to be, it's going to be uproars and chaos that's out here, man. And this could very well lead up to Jacob's trouble. Now, I'm not saying it is to a T. I mean, it's going to, hey, best believe it's going to be a key catalyst in the buildup of Jacob's trouble. But it could very well lead to full blowing out Jacob's trouble. Now, I'm not saying it's going to happen like that, but I'm just speaking as a man. But there's a strong chance that it could go down like that. We're at a time in, in, in prophecy right now where any little tremor, all right, any little tremor can start a whole earthquake. Any little tremor can start, can, can be the main cause of everything to shake. 
All right, and we're in that time. Okay, so be prepared. Continue to be watchful. I'm gonna be honest. Hey, man, I, I, and I'm speaking as a man when I say this, but I believe Joe Biden gonna get elected. Okay, I, I, I believe Joe Biden's gonna get elected, man. All right, because it says the enemy shall shall come upon thee as a flood. Okay, and the enemy starts with Esau Edom. Okay, so I believe I believe he might get elected, man, and that's gonna be a huge start. Of these devils really cracking down on you jakes A lot harder than what they've done before And again this is me speaking as a man I could be wrong Okay it could be Trump I'm just saying what I think might transpire What I believe is going to take place here Alright So gird your loins Okay stay humble Fear Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai Okay And ascribe unto him greatness Which goes into glorifying his holy name And doing those particular things Will keep you covered In these troublesome times Okay, but going back to that article, going back to that article in the newspaper, it says election bringing out Texas Guard. Okay, so the Texas Guard is coming out, man. All right, so things are very well indeed finna be shaken up by default soon. Regardless, it's gonna get shaken the hell up. Okay, so I'm gonna end it off on that. Lord's willing, this was uh, edifying and informative. Okay, I'm gonna give all praise. Honor and glory to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rechakodash. Double honors to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Peace and blessing and many salutations to you elect across the four winds of this earth, pushing this word in sincerity and in truth. Shalom.